You ready? I'm ready. One to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> no. Mikawarazi Agua Ching. It's beautiful outside. Alright, so today I would like to tell the story of how Amik Beaver got his tail and learned how to swim. <laughs> so back in the days of the grandfathers. Uh, Mick actually used to have a big fluffy tail. His tail wasn't always like this. It used to be big and fluffy like a squirrel. In fact, uh, the beavers used to climb trees and jump around and just like squirrels. They were like big squirrels who could also chew trees down. And uh, he was really proud of that tail. He would just strut around the woods here, bragging up his tail to all his friends. You know, one day he came up to uh, Wabuz, a rabbit. And he goes, hey, Wabuz, check out my tail. Isn't it beautiful? And Wabuz goes, oh, yeah, that's, a, that's some tail. You must be proud. Because, oh, yeah, I got the most beautiful tail in the world. Don't you wish you had a tail like mine? And Wabu says, Ah, you know, your tail is good for you, but my tail is just a little little cotton ball. It serves me just fine. And Amik says, Ah, you're just jealous. And he turned on his heel and walked away. Well, pretty soon he comes up to a Makwa, a bear. And he goes, Hey, Makwa! Check out my tail. Isn't it beautiful? All fluffy and that. I got the most beautiful tail in the woods. And Mukwa says, Oh yeah, that's a that's some tail. You must be very proud. He goes, oh yeah. Don't you wish you had a tail like mine? Ah, you know, your tail is good for you, but uh, my little black tail here, it doesn't get in the way when I got to scratch my back on the trees and whatnot. I, I, my, my tail's just fine the way it is. He goes, ah, you're just jealous. And Amik turned on his heel and walked away. Well, pretty soon he comes up to uh, Ondeg, the crow. And he says, hey, Ondeg, check out my tail. Isn't it beautiful? And Ondeg says, oh, wow, yeah, that's a really nice tail. You look like a squirrel. And he goes, don't you wish, don't you wish you had a tail like mine? And Andek says, ah, you know, your tail is good for you, but my tail, you know, it, it helps me steer when I fly. My tail suits me just fine. He goes, ah, you're just jealous, Andek. And Amik turned on his heel and walked away in a huff. And the whole while he was just mad. Nobody would give him the, the attention he wanted for his tail. So I went back to work and he started chewing on a tree, you know. And normally, Amik was really good at chopping down trees. He would just chew, chew, chew and drop them right where he wanted them. But this day, he was all mad at his friends. And he wasn't paying attention. He was chewing there, chewing there. And instead of that tree falling forward, that tree started to fall backwards right towards Amik. And, and as it came down, Amik looks up at the last second. He's like, oh, uh, and he jumps out of the way. But that tree comes down with a smack and lands right on his tail, you know, his hands and feet. And he pulls his tail out, and it's like a cartoon, you know. It's all flat. And his hands are big and flat, and his, his feet are flattened out. And he's like, oh, no, look at me. And he starts to cry. He starts to cry to Gichimonado. He goes, Gichimonado, what have you done to me? Look at my tail. And Gichimonado came down and he goes, Amik, 
You know you did this to yourself. Because you acted so ugly to your friends and you had so much pride, you weren't paying attention and that tree landed on your uh, tail. And now it's all flat, like a pancake. Or maybe like a canoe paddle. Listen, Amik, I want you to do something. I want you to jump in that river right now. And Amik's still crying. He goes, jump in. I don't feel like swimming. He goes, no, do it. Jump in the river. I got to show you something. So he takes his flat tail and his flat hands and feet. And he jumps in that river. And what happens? Oh, wow. He can swim just good. He's the he's better swimmer than he's ever been in his whole life. In fact, he's, a, he's, only, he's almost as good as the loon. He's such a good swimmer. And he comes out of the water and goes, Oh, wow, uh, get you, Manado. I don't know what to say. He goes, Listen, I wanted to teach you something. You know, you act all prideful like that, and you treat people ugly. Ugly things are going to happen to you. But also, I want you to understand that even though bad, what seems like a bad thing can happen, it sometimes turns out to be a good thing. Nothing is absolutely bad or absolutely good. And this is the, the day, and this is the story of how Gichi Manadu became a Buddhist. <laughs> no, this is a story of how not only did Amik get a flat tail, but he learned how to swim. And from that day forward, Amik would would swim under the water and, and he started building his home right under the water. And he started to build dams. He, he could change the course of the river with his dams that he would build. It became great, Amik. So this is actually the story of Amik, a beaver. All right. Well, I suppose I better go back. Go see what that old Natasha is up to. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Boo-shoo. Hi, sweetie. You ready to come home? Yeah. You all done telling the uh, mix story? Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> okay. Well, hang on. I got to scan for your coordinates. All right. And that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> no.